Next on our list is a relatively new partnership that we've formed with a company called DQ Global. DQ Global is a company based out of the UK that offers duplicate detection software and services. And so with their software or through their services team, they will work with you to analyze your data and help you understand what it makes sense given your data to use to identify duplicates. So taking a look at your data as a whole and understanding, you know, with the information that you have, maybe using address is or is not a good data set to be looking at in terms of finding duplicates. Maybe using name, is or is, is, or is not, that sort of thing. Um, they also have a pre-built library of name matches that they'll use when they're doing duplicate detection. So this is going to be things like Bob versus Rob versus Robert versus any other nickname for Bob that you could come up with, um, knowing that those are all actually basically the same name and that someone who's, you know, Bob Smith versus Rob Smith, well, there's a decent chance that those might be the same person. And once they've kind of done that analysis, they can return back a ranked likelihood of the probability that two records in your system are actually duplicate records. And so you can get, you know, this is a 95% match, this is an 85% match, that sort of thing. And then you can really set the bar, given that information, on how close of a match are you looking for before you consider something to be a match and you want to merge it. So through this service, we can set up either a one-time data cleaning to just take your data that you have in Sugar today and go through and look for duplicates and find out how many duplicates you have and decide how you want to clean those up. We can also set up ongoing cleaning uh, through the connection of DQ Global and Starfish working together um, where we can, on a weekly or monthly basis, automatically scan your data and find any new duplicate records that have been created during that time period. We've got a customer who's running this on a weekly basis and they're finding, you know, 15 to 20 new duplicates every week. Yikes. <laughs> They've got a large data set. <laughs> like, who's entering this information? <laughs> um, and then once those duplicates have been identified, we can push them into Sugar for you to review so that you can look at them and say, yes, these are duplicates, they should be merged. Um, or no, they're not duplicates, they shouldn't be merged. Or depending on how much space you have in the system, uh, you can also just have us automatically merge them. So we've built processes where we say, you know, look at X, Y, and Z to decide which record has better data. Um, use that as the primary record and go ahead and merge them. If one record is blank in a certain field and the other one's not, go ahead and take the value of those not blank and all that sort of good logic that you might want in place in terms of doing some automatic merging of data. AccuMail is another service that we've recently partnered with, and AccuMail is focused on address information. And so if you are doing any mailed advertising or other mailers to your customers or your prospects, um, you know it's really important to have good addresses, and also that addresses change pretty frequently. Um, businesses move, people move. And the addresses that you had six months ago may or may not be any good when you go to send out your next mailing six months later. So AccuMail um, is a product from a company called Datatech SmartSoft, and they partner with the post office to be able to provide address validation and standardization services and national change of address services. So the address validation and standardization service is comparing addresses that you have in your database versus known addresses from the post office. So the post office has a giant database of all of the actual real addresses in the United States, and it can compare your address versus that address. It does some fuzzy matching here as well, trying to find the right match, and it will update your addresses to the correct known post office standards, or it will return it and say, hey, we can't match this address to a known address, it'll flag it as undeliverable so you know not to waste money sending mail to that address. The National Change of Address Service 
uses the change of address filings that the post office receives. So when you move, you tell the post office, I'm moving from X address to Y address. The post office, again, puts those together into a giant database. Acumail has access to them to be able to go through and say, well, Megan used to live at this address. That's the address you've got on file for her in CRM system. But actually, she filed a change of address to this other address, and we can update that address inside your CRM to match the known new address for Megan. So again, you're getting that update information um, so that you've got the correct address on file. And so here again, with the combination of Acumail and Starfish, um, we can set this up to do ongoing data cleaning. We can, set, we can do this just as a one-time process. Um, national change of address in particular is designed to really work as an ongoing process because you're theoretically supposed to do that every 90 days or so to make sure that you're keeping up with the address changes if someone's moved three times in a year and you only have the address, you know, that was three addresses ago, it's going to be harder to keep that up to date to the current address than if you've done it regularly along the way. Um, and then we can take those corrections, those flags, those updates, and push them back into Sugar so that you've got the correct address data there. Never Bounce is another, another service that we are not partnered with. You can just go to their website. Uh, they have a very easy user interface. What you do is you upload lists of your contacts or leads and their email addresses, and it will check to see if they're valid. Now, what I think is cool about this is they don't just check to make sure an email address has the at sign and a period in it uh, to make sure they're textually valid. It actually attempts to contact the mail server and confirm that the email address exists. So you can go there and plug in fake email addresses, and it'll reply with good, not good, probably good, probably not good, depending on what the email server that's hosting that email address uh, returns. Some email server providers will not return a status code for an email address. Others will. Uh, you can upload lists, and it'll do a free analysis to say what percent it estimates are good or bad, and then you could pay them to clean that up and download the resulting list and use the Sugar's CSV import tool to upload that data back into Sugar. Uh, a customer actually did this, and they found it useful, and I've known someone else who did it with one of their lists, and they were both seemed pretty happy with it, so I thought I would mention it here. <laughs> 